we embark on a journey from Machakos town to the place termed as most sacred in Ukambani, Komarok Shrine. From Machakos, we go through Tala town, which is approximately 15 minutes from the shrine. Komarok Shrine is 50 kilometers away from Nairobi CBD and 30 kilometers from Machakos town. E-Film Studio now brings you the most detailed documentary of Komarok Shrine. mtakatifu na nawita mtakatifu kwa maana mara ninapokuja hapa nakuta watu wakiomba na wale hatujui wale mnatoka mbali sio wa Kristo peke yake wanakuja wa Katoliki peke yake wanakuja kuomba juzi nilikuwa hapa na kulikuwa na pasta huko ndani ya miti kukuwa na loud speaker na lakini nilikuwa namsikia kabisa anatoa sauti kabisa kwa Mungu na kulingana na maombi yao yake na alikuwa mmoja nilikuwa namsikia akiwa huko ndani na naomba kabisa namsikia lakini kulingana na maombi yake sidhani alikuwa mkatoliki lakini alikuwa mkristo kwa hivyo ni mahali ambapo wanavutia watu wakati ninapotembea huko ndani wakati mwingine nakuta watu wa madhehebu bali bali hapa ni mahali patakatifu na tunasema tuendelee kuomba Mungu wetu ni mmoja on arrival there is a rector's office or the office of the father in charge fitted with a frame photo of Archbishop Norman Kingo and Pope Francis, Bishop of Rome. This is where guests are received and directed. Next to it is a shrine bookshop. Here is where you get all the Catholic materials including books, all types of rosaries, crosses, among many others. This is where you find the historic book which explains or narrates the whole story about the shrine. of Komarok Shrine Church with a capacity of approximately 120 congregants the church is open to everyone who comes to visit mass is always conducted every day by the father in charge from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Asa no tai we, ye tu kada. Asa no 
A beautiful altar is built on the rock and a drawing of Jesus with his 12 disciples beautifies it more. Here people are prayed for and miracles are testified. Standing right in front of you, then let the visitation start now. You will be ready. You will be an answer. You will be ready. You will be ready. You will be ready. You will be ready. The visitation now. The visitation. Yes. Yes. The Holy Spirit will fill that child now. They are filled with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Joy will come to you now to receive joy. Receive the joy. The joy is coming to the kid now. The visitation has happened today in a very special way. The visitation has happened today in a very special way. are provided with envelopes. In they put their offerings and prayer items. These ends presented to Mary, mother of Jesus, through an opening below. A tail number is also provided to those offering through M-Pesa. Besides, the altar is a symbol of Mary, Mother of God, and our Son, Jesus. our eyes, thousands of rosaries placed at a corner of the church. On inquiry, we are told congregants leave them for Mary to pray for them. Donated by 
by fathers of faith and mothers of faith Mombasa is where the reading of the word happens. Outside is a small metallic structure with a tap to receive holy water. Guarded by St. Michael, the in charge, everyone is allowed to fetch water, but it should be less than a liter. of Ukambani is a sacred shrine, home to powerful forces that stopped government engineers from constructing a road. My name is Peter Makaundeti, 78 years old. At this hill, there used to be done sacrifices. There are those specific elders who used to do sacrifices. They used to ask for rains and rains would come. It continued. At this shrine, they used to get surprised because there is a lady who used to stay here and used to talk. I can't remember her name, but I'll remember. She used to talk. So they thought it was satanic. After some time, a father who used to be called Thomas came. Before Thomas, they, they came some engineers who used to build roads. They wanted to create a road through this hill. They came and started working. Through their process, their machineries used to break down. So they imagined there is something special here. They were told by the elders who used to do sacrifices here that they should do sacrifice so that their machineries could not break down because they knew everything which was there, it was godly. They sacrificed a cow. Once they did the sacrifice, they changed the position of the altar. Position of the altar, the engineers came back and started working. When they started working again, the machineries kept on breaking down. A voice was heard. The voice was saying, move from this place. There is the honor of this place. It took some time and the machineries kept on breaking down. Because they had done the sacrifices, they said they will change the position of the altar. Because here everything seems not okay. So they changed the position to a different location. Because they had created a space here, Father Thomas, because he was spirit-filled, he started a church from Mitaboni. He said that there is something special at this place. And us from Deti's family, I'm from Cosmas Deti, I know you know the person. Cosmas people said they saw Mary, mother of Jesus, around evening. 
We gave that history to the elders. And we say this is the reason why the machineries are breaking down. Mary, mother of Jesus, went up the hill. And she went up the hill where we are seeing the sculpture of Jesus and Mary, mother of Jesus. She stayed there for some time and she then disappeared. What I know about this hill, Father Thomas continued, people started coming and the place was called Sinai. Once we gave the story of Mary, mother of Jesus, it continued and people started flocking and people always prayed here. And then Mary, mother of Jesus, was seen. The other history is written here. There is a woman who used to stay here called Anna and Thomas. The books which contain the history of this place, Anna used to keep them. Anna passed away and Thomas passed away. Everyone who comes here, they come and find the books of history. So that's my story. Though a signage, no photography, once you go through the office, you are allowed to take as many photos and videos as possible. There is no better time to take a ride than an early morning and which better route than Machakos through Kangundo Road and back to Nairobi using Mombasa Road. From Rwai Bypass, Ukambani plane rolls out to the one's eyes. Approaching Tutala town, a rock hill appears. This is the famous Koma Rock Shrine, considered a shrine by many. The hill is always said to be a sacred place. With a very rocky surrounding, this makes it stand out in its neighborhood. Koma Rock Shrine is a very beautiful place of the art, nature's gift to the locals. The shrine has no fence, blockades, or guardrails, making it accessible to everyone. A story is told of a road engineer in 1970s who wanted to move the shrine so that a road would pass through the hill. But this sparkled the famous protest from Kamba elders. They later agreed to have the shrine moved to another part of the hill after a bag of sugar and two goats were offered to them as a sacrifice. Unbelievable but true. The most amazing part of it, despite the sacrifices, the blasting machinery of the rocks was very difficult with the machinery constantly breaking down. This was a non-power. This led to the engineer abandoning the route. After realizing that there was an unknown power, preventing the rock from breaking. Today, the abandoned Maram Road is still visible. From the top of the hill, as it meanders through the Komarok Plains towards the city. Komarok Shrine is a place where traditional believers used to offer sacrifices in the past. But now it has been turned into a shrine of Our Lady. Given its background and current religious activities, the Komarok Shrine is still a place of mystery for many. Today, the shrine has been taken over by Catholic Church, which has been turned into a site for pilgrims. These days, it's often the scene of procession, singing of hymns, recital of prayers and fasting.
an imposing approximately 70 feet sculpture of Jesus in the arms of his mother Mary after the body was lowered from the cross. Many may not understand the image that is up there, the sculpture of Mary, mother of Jesus, and Jesus himself. But when Jesus is up there and his mother, the mother, as Catholics, is the one who we run up to. Because we say that we send Mother Mary of Jesus to Jesus Christ. Because us, as parents, our problems we give them to parents who are ladies. So as we send Mary, Mother of Jesus, because she was forgiven her first sin. Because of this reason, that's why she gave birth to Jesus. So Jesus is the person who is the most high. So that sculpture of Jesus and Mary, mother of Jesus, once we go there and touch it, or we give our petition to it, petitions are answered. Those who are sick get healed, and those who are not delivered, they get delivered. At the top of the hill, you always have a nice view of the surrounding, including the view of Kilimambogo Mountain. Through a descriptive way to the cross, one walks around the church up to the rocky surface all through to the shrine while saying prayers, despite soaring temperatures. Those who come here for all important pilgrimage and connection with their inner self seems not to notice this. Elders used to journey from all over to offer their sacrifices to their God at a destined shrine known as Idembo. This was always a holy place. Once here, they would always pray for rain and protection from plagues. place we've been doing a, a documentary now for the last I think around one week and now we are almost coming to the culmination of it. Uh, right now as you can see even uh, behind me there are very many tents they're also putting more and more which will be showing you around. So the reason they are doing these tents is because uh, they'll be having uh, what they normally call Catholic Diocesan Pilgrimage 2023. So this will happen here. Okay, so today is on Thursday, date 9th, but the event will happen on 11th. So you can imagine if the tents are being set at this early, that's, that tells you the event will be a very big event. It will be thousands and thousands of Kenyans gathering here to celebrate uh, what they call pilgrimage uh, 2023. Right now I've been provided with the program for the day. That is on Saturday 11th. <coughs> this will happen here at Komarok Shrine. It's along uh, Kangundo Nairobi Road, uh, just before Nguluni on your way to Tala, uh, actually at the junction of Machakos and uh, um, Kangundo Nairobi Highway. So the program will actually start very early. That is around 7.30 a.m. And uh, it will end, of course, late. Uh, they haven't mentioned the exact time it will end, but of course, because of many issues that will happen that day and ceremonies, it will end a little bit late. But uh, the people will be doing the animation for Dinari, will be Kibaoni Dinari, 
Uh, the way to the cross, the first group will be Tala Dinari, the second group will be Kangundo Dinari, the third group will be Machakos Dinari, and then the fourth group will be presided by, over by Bishop. Uh, that uh, because of many people around, they'll have to use a very powerful PA system as they have mentioned in the program. That will end at around 10. And then from 10.30, Eucharistic celebration will start. Uh, this will start by entrance procession and then followed by a welcome note. And then after that, there will be introduction rites of the Mass. From there, uh, liturgy of the Word, uh, solemn procession with the Word of God, first reading. That will come from the book of Genesis, chapter number nine. Uh, chapter number 3, sorry, from verse 9 to 24. And then the second reading will come from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 12, from verse 12 to 26. And then after that, there will be gospel acclamation from the book of gospel, uh, Mark, chapter number 8, from verse 1 to 10. Uh, the program will start very early in the morning. That tells you that people will be here very early. Others actually will be here starting from today, tomorrow, Friday, and others very early in the morning on Saturday. Like we've heard yesterday, there are people who left their places, they are walking, we'll be tracing them to see where they have reached, but they'll be here by tomorrow in the evening. So be here early, get yourself a space if you are Catholic, and enjoy your day for Saturday. We'll be getting you more details, I think by tomorrow, uh, right now, it's just the tents which have been set, the seats around, are not yet arranged, but uh, we can see them. So we'll give, be giving you more information by tomorrow about security issues, uh, the stage where the bishop will come to do the mass from. So I'll be showing you all those details. So just stay tuned with us. We are with you, we are doing this for you. And yeah, peace. by some of the congregants who walk long journeys to this place. Some of them have different experiences, not only walking to this specific shrine, but up to shrine in Uganda. So we took an early morning journey in search of those people who come here by foot. Dusty roads, sunny day, uphill but finally we meet them They were so happy to see us, and they said that we were sent from heaven. They imagined that we have been sent from heaven to help them. So we helped them carry their bags. They used to say that this is how God talks. They were so happy. So we wanted to hear the story, why they decided to walk, 
not only for this journey, but for many journeys they have walked. So we look for their leader, and this is what she had to say. Jacinda Nzioka from the other parish. We are going to Komarok Shrine. We normally go for three days, three days of being together with the Lord. As as parents, we have many challenges. We normally like talking to God. We normally want to do many things to God. But because of the challenges at home, we don't get time to do so. And that's why from us, from the other, we took this time to walk together. And God allowed us and walked with us. And that's why he allowed us for three days of walking and praying with him. We go pray and give thanks for the blessings he has bestowed in our homes. At the church, devotions we don't have enough time to pray. Because we have many chores at home, we don't get enough time to pray and give thanks to God. So as ladies, we have time for our families and children, and because of that, we don't have enough time to pray. For this time, to walk together and pray together. We have been in this journey for 12 years. God has done us well. And for this journey, God has raised our Catholic Christian faith. Many Christians have been held. Many have held sacraments through this way. It's a way of paying our sins. As Christians, the more you stay close to God, the more you pray, the more you seek Him, God helps you. Sins. You know how God wants from you. When we are given the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit tells you who you are, how you will work for Jesus, and how you will make them happy. This is when we realize all these talents God has given us. These are the talents which help us walk throughout our life journey. We started our journey on Wednesday. The first day, from the other we went to Matu. At around 4, that's the time we arrived there, we had a mass. The second day is yesterday. At Mbiuni, we had a mass. And then today, under the protection of Mary, Mother of Jesus, we are going to Kamaro. We know very well that there is God who is in between us, God who is helping us, God who is blessing us, God who is healing us, God who is giving our children jobs, God who is changing our parents, God who is healing who have cancer. The God we depend on, the God who is the owner of our lives. So we are happy, we are telling him thank you. Because right now, we are almost at the top of the hill. This is the place which is hard to climb. The other places we go slowly and slowly, singing praises and worship of the song. I know I have leaders in between us. I know I have so many people. Those I am leading. It's not because of my own effort and power. It's because of God's power. I am asking you as Christian, as you are building your faith, continue praying to God. Continue paying your sins. Continue being close to God. This is where we will find our help. This is where our children will be saved. This is where our husbands will be saved. This is where our neighbors will be saved. Without God, there is nothing. Without God, there is nothing. You can't know who you are without God. Without the Holy Spirit, you don't know what to do. So I ask you as Christians, stay close to God. Let it not in vain that you left your home. Don't be here to see how Jacinda talks. Don't see how the other leaders talk. But see God. When I'm in front of you leading, it's not because of my power, it's God's power. Everyone to be encouraged. Raise up your faith and pull many Christians close to God. We know we are weak. Everybody is weak. There is nobody who is perfect in the eyes of God. But when God is in front of us, God has given us an opportunity to go back to God. 
God renews our strength in front of his eyes. And that's the reason we come close to him back. He's a merciful God and he forgives our sins. He will not remember our sins again. He loves us with a big love. He is a good God. He is a faithful God. He is the God who loves us. Let's always raise our hands in praises and worshiping him. Let's preach the gospel to many people and many people. Let it not be my own gospel, but let always spread this gospel to everyone in this world. We are given an opportunity to spread this gospel to as many people as possible. In the book of Psalms, everybody who is straight is always straight in front of eyes of God. He is righteous because of his words. It's because of his mercies. Let's not see our problems. Let's see his blessings. Let's see what he has done to us. Let's see the good things he has done to us. Let's see his mercies. Being alive is not because of our power. It's God's power. Let's always praise God all the time by giving thanks because he's a good God and a faithful God. Thank you. My name is Mary Munyao from Biuni Parish Catholic Church. The church where I worship is St. Francis Xavier Utidini. I always walked this journey of faith because of prayers. Sometimes where there is hardship at home, I like walking to prayer stations to have time with God. Mostly, I like walking to shrines which are close by and sometimes shrines which are far away. Because when we come to prayers, God blesses us and hears our prayers. When we come to pray, God can leave you to walk back without answers. When you go back at home, you find that things have changed. If there is a problem which is at home, or your child who lacks school fees, you find God has done a miracle, which you don't know where it's from, but God knows. Starting this journey, I used to come by vehicles. But one day, I decided to walk to this place. On 2015, I walked to Uganda, and we walked. Many asked me whether it was possible, and I told them it was possible. I was blessed because there is a problem which was at home. When I came back, it was solved. So these shrines we go to, we even go up to Subukia. Subukia we go by vehicle. This walk of faith helps us so much, especially for us who are prayerful. What I can encourage you, when you come here, God can't fail to bless you. A journey of walking is a decision. When I walk is when I'm blessed and I find time to pray peacefully. At home, you don't find enough time to pray. Here is you and your God. When you are walking, you don't have your husband or your child that they will tell you you haven't given them food at the right time. When it's time to eat, we just sit down, take water, eat something and continue walking. I want to encourage the other Christians. We also find others who are not Catholics, they come here for prayers. I pray for everyone. Even in our church, I used to walk alone, but now we came six of us. That's a journey of faith, and it's showing how the Catholic faith is growing. Mostly, most of us when we come here, when we see the sculpture of Mary, Mother of God, we even smell the sneer before it's even taken to tabernacle.
So for you is just to surrender, forgive those who have wronged, those who have wronged you. Forgive each and every person. Let them see you not okay, but God will always see you okay. When you forgive others, God blesses you. Ask other Christians that they make a decision to have this walk of faith. Even if not at Komarok, at this place we like it because it's the one which is close by. They come to prayers. To what we pray by faith, God gives us. Sitanita <laughs> Kele lo kenene kito chambo ya ndi nikenda tu kepu ndi no ashira imino ya koma ni kuete mabata maitu mabata ma na na e maitu mabata ma enda maitu na mabata ma alame da ama tutu mete ilato kandi no ashira imiambo ya na muno muno ba kwa Maria wa koma roko taete mabata maitu ni masungi wa nundu ilato kite kima ni kide uchambo ya taete mabata maitu mabata maitu maile ya kusungi wa masungi wa kwa mituki. Kwa uno atasye kana, ilati ende teki imani cha mboya, nilati mita haku inji. Na mose, ni waenda haki imani kithewi cha mboya kuboya. Nikenda haka nengane mavata maandu ma Israel. Na itu ilato waka batu kaku nengane mavata maandu kristo wa inge. Denu wakundu ni kulatu mite, nikenda misi ito yidwe na mugo, duwa sito sidwe na mugo. Na kilaba ndubo ndeba lati kalabe yidwe na mugo. Kwa usabali isu tamiambi isye ndinu wa kuka kima niki iki dhewi nikenda tiete mabata asu. Na hindi ndinu wa shida ini siyo ndi ila tienda, ni tienda ha shida ini kondo wa kutuwa mabata maitu. Ti shida ini ino je yoka, ni tienda ha divine masi chumbi, ni tienda ha musewe shida ini kitui. Na hindi nitu uka haba, na nitu tienda ha wapakubi kwa kila hivinda. Kwa hivinda, kila mwaka maitu mbikira malia ni withi ya wa ayete hivinda ya kuka kuboya. Tandayo sisi ito ya masaku. 
Kwa umu the nani wa uni, chiko mani jebata ndayo sisi tu ya masaku. Yo nde, niki endatu ke kuwete mabata maitu. Nati hivinga mwaka, nati ambi lidia mwaka umgi wa, wa mboya. Waitu Maria mboye, mboye, mboye. Waitu Maria mboye, mabinda. My name is Petronila Ndinda Wambua, Kithimani Parish, Kambiandeke Church. At the parish, I'm always the secretary. At the church, I'm the Jumuiya coordinator. And the Jumuiya, I'm the catechist. This journey of walking to this place, we came six of us. And all of them are people of good faith. Most of them, they'll be coming tomorrow by vehicles. So most of them are discouraged when they hear we are walking. But this is my first time to walk. Some years back, be sick. And because God healed me, walking here is just a thanksgiving process. Because of the blessings he has bestowed in me and my family. So here at Koma, when you come with faith, you write your petitions. And when you go back home, you remind God that you had taken that petition to Komarok Shrine. Did I go to Komarok when I'm ready? So when you come here, you make sure you forgive your neighbor, you forgive your children, and forgive your husband. Because when you're coming to pray, you must be free. These are prayers which are of the faithful. What you are praying to God, you know that God will grant it to you. We know and we are sure that it will happen. Because we have carried petition for our families, families have problems, children are reading and not getting jobs. Many parents have lost their jobs during Corona. Those are some of the petitions we have brought at this hill. Parents are struggling to teach their children. And those are some of our petitions that we are bringing here for God to help them. Most of us have problems at their home and they send us to represent them. The reason we come here for prayers by foot, when you are walking, you pay for your debts. A journey by walking has many blessings, which can follow you to your family, your church and parish. So walking to this place even by one person, it uplifts the parish because many blessings come to the parish because of paying for the debts. We don't pay for debts of our own, but we pay debts for each and every one of every person. Because we know most of the people in this world, 
They don't want to know who created them. They even don't have time to worship God. Even for us as Christians, some of us don't get time. So we pray for every person in this world so God may have mercy on them. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. One reason we thank God is because all through our journey, from morning now we are at Tala. God has guided us, we are happy, and everybody is encouraged. That is mercy of God. He has given us power and is encouraging us for the journey. We give God thanks for the mercies. We thank our father Dominic because if not him and his love, we could not have made it up to this far. We thank God for this opportunity. We have a father who knows prayer and who encourages us all through the journey. He has shown us the right way through the Catholic faith. We'll get some rest for one hour. We normally get a break for one hour. We have arrived here at 11 a.m. and 13 minutes. We leave at this place at around 1 p.m. and 15 minutes up to Komaro. All the time. And all the time, God is good. I'm very happy for this journey we have had. Up to this place, I'm free. Because God is speaking to us all through. He's releasing us. We have come by Son, but Holy Spirit has gone before us. In everything, we are okay. When you go back at home, you'll find things have changed because prayers have power. So what I'll encourage you, keep pushing and most of these things don't fail to come when you go back always encourage others with swollen legs injured toes thirsty but they manage to maneuver through
Maria, mamma, eh, eh, mamma. Mamma, mamma, eh, mamma. Mamma, Maria, mamma, eh, eh, mamma. Mamma, 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 eh, mamma. Maria, mamma, eh, eh, mamma.
the beauty of Catholics is how they conduct their masses. is a mass we go through all the 15 stations. When we go to start the prayer station, we remember the suffering that Jesus went through. We even see in the first station how Jesus went through judgment, taken to Pilate and sentenced to death. At that station, we learn a lot. Even back at home, people come together and start judging you. You take yourself, if Jesus was judged, what about you? Mm-hmm. 
ai subeca, we ai subeca, we ai subeca, we ai tekea, we ai tekea, we ai tekea. Ukumiwa ni kwa asana kwa wana na kwa wabudewi 
Yesu ameakala meumia ekaikunde nyenye akaba bwenye inye ene asiana sienyu Yesu ende kona ina wake elindikana tu mwekalele wandu kwa Yesu ene sieni kana ndo za kuwa ni mikadi ya kwa na utanu na ugui ni kulindikane wewe weka asa waitola wetu ni Kukumio <laughs> Tikalelengo, 
Nakazuma Quadra Nuia, Nama Makulia, Nikimo Manda, Ulawida, your Katiwa Laku, Deva, Noda, your kit. Asa, you are to name Gienza, Quidwa, and I want no one Natene. Quisla Quamana Raweka, Ulawa, Cindy, a Kipu, Neto Kuvoya, Tulikana, Kodawa Quamwei, Tutone Kodayo Kachen in the Chada, you well. Kula kweti ya wani veba waku Kwa uko ndo wa kukwa Na kuda waka kwa klisto Kula niwe mwe wa ito Asa wa ito lawe yetu nesi yetu akwiri wa usumbe ya kuke kwenda kwa kufande taitune Malia was when they cross Yapa and I come out, make a car, then I yes, so see how I will have them while you there. I said, I'm going to take a kid of my own. I can't be the main gate, and I wear a tear that in a weird thing come out to Catuma <laughs> Ilanto <laughs> Ndatukenga. <laughs> Nawe Maria mamangu kwa machungu kwa uchungu wote ambao moyo wako umejaa ulipomwona mwanao mpenzi akinama kichwa na kuzimia unifadhili nife kifo chema Bwana awe nanyi na Mungu mwenyezi awabariki baba na mwana na roho at the end of the prayer stations are water taps to quench one thirsty for a long journey of prayers. The beauty of Catholics is how they conduct their masses. Starting by hand of the side in Father's printers, holy water to all the congregants as he gets in the church.
mshirika wa Roho Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote. Followed by how the word of God is presented to the Father. The sweet melodies from the choir makes the masses lively. they have to protect the Holy Communion. of pilgrims gather to celebrate. za Mwenyezi Mungu zijishukie za baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu amina endeni na amani ya Kristo tumshukuru Mungu